Hi there, my name is Kai and welcome to a tutorial on Thorium Reader version 1.7 for screen reader users. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. In this video, I'll be going over how to read books with Thorium Reader from EDR Lab. Thorium is a robust ebook reader for Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can read EPUB 2 and 3, DAISY 3, and PDF file formats with it. We'll be looking at the Windows version, but the layout for all three versions are very similar. I'm using NVDA, non-visual desktop access, but the process will be the same no matter what Windows screen reader is used. So if you use JAWS or Narrator, you can still benefit from this tutorial. I've got my speech piped through with the speech rate slowed down and keyboard echo turned on, so you can follow what I'm doing. But don't get caught up in memorizing keystrokes. The goal of this tutorial is to show you how to read with Thorium by explaining where to find things. With that said, let's jump right in. Layout and Overview After you've downloaded and installed Thorium on your device, the icon for it will be available on your desktop. Let's go ahead and launch it. Desktop list, Thorium 4353. EDRLab.Thorium Reader pane. Thorium My Books, clickable to region, to region. Okay, here we are on the bookshelf page. Yes, I said page because Thorium displays everything as web pages. What this means is that you can use your screen reader's web browsing commands to move around, such as moving by heading, link, or button. Also, like browsing a website, you can divide each section of a page into a header area where the navigational controls allows you to move to different areas of Thorium and a main content area where new content appears as you move around the program. For example, the main content area on this page shows recently added and recently read books, but when a book is open, the main content area will show the contents of the book instead. All right, concepts aside, the first thing you land on is the toolbar. The next element is the skip to content button. I will read button skip to content. Pressing this will take you, you guessed it, to the main content area. After this, you encounter a menu of three buttons. My books. Bookshelf menu navigation landmark list with three items toggle button press my books. Catalogs. Toggle button not press catalogs. And settings. Toggle button not press settings. When you activate any of the buttons, it will take you to those areas of the program. Currently, we are in the My Books area. You can tell where you are by looking at which button is pressed. If you arrow up a couple of times, you'll see that that button is pressed. Toggle, but, toggle button, press My Books. Toggle button, toggle bu Next are two buttons. Grid View. Out of List Bookshelf Menu Navigation Landmark Toggle Button, Press Grid View. And List View. Toggle button, not press List View. These buttons affect how titles are laid out. Both views are accessible to screen readers. Below this is an edit field. Search landmark search by title edit search. And a button that allows you to search your entire bookshelf. Button graphics start a search. If you want to see a list of all the books in your bookshelf, you can click on the all books link. Link all books. The import a publication button allows you to browse for books and opens them in Thorium. Button import a publication. We'll come back to this in a sec. We finally get to the main content. You can get to this by navigating to the main landmark or by jumping to the level two heading called recently added. Graphic import a publication. Main content, main landmark, recently added heading level two. The same all books link is below this heading followed by a list of recently read books. Link all books. Link the next big thing from 3D printing to mining the moon Christopher Barnett. Button collapse graphic menu. Link tribe of mentors Timothy Ferris. Button collapse graphic menu. You'll have noticed a button called collapse graphic menu underneath each book as I aired down. These menus correspond to each book and offers options for deleting, importing, etc. The next level two heading is a resume reading section where you will find a list of books that you are currently reading. Heading level two resume reading. Lastly, we have an About Thorium section that tells us the current version we are on and gives us a way to learn more. About Thorium Heading Level 2. 
v1.7.0. So we are currently on version 1.7.0, and if I arrow down from here, button more information. There's our more information button. Opening books. To open a book in Thorium, there are two ways opening it in Thorium itself or by navigating to the book wherever you've stored it on your computer. Let's go over how to do this in Thorium first. So I'm going to walk you through opening a book for the first time. Let's start at the top of the page and navigate to the import a publication button. I know that it is below the search by title edit field so I'm going to jump to the search field and then navigate by button until we land on it. Bookshelf menu navigation landmark search landmark search by title edit search. Start a search graphic button. Import a publication button. Here we are. I'm going to click on this. And what we have is a standard open dialog. Open dialog file name. File name. Combo box collapsed. Edit alt plus end land. Because Thorium remembers the last folder I was in, which happens to be where my list of books are, I'm just going to go to the list and pick a book. Items 11 angle, 2021. My heart is not blind on blindness and perception 18 trillion 62 billion 21 million 180 thousand 800 dot above Alright, this looks good. Thorium alert the import of my heart is not blind on blindness and perception is finished. Button, Thorium my books document, button import of publication. We're now back on the main page. In the main content area, we can now see that our book is available under the recently added heading. Main content, main landmark, recently added heading level 2. Link all books. Link my heart is not blind. On blindness and perception, Michael Knight. To open it, we can just click on the title. Pain. Thorium, my heart is not blind. On blindness and perception. Toolbar region, toolbar region, clickable toolbar out of region. Button skip to content. Reading view menu. And now we can start reading. To resume reading a book, we can follow the same steps, except we don't need to press the import button. What we need to do instead is launch Thorium jump to the recently added section, and simply click on the title. Another way to open books in Thorium is to navigate to where you've stored the book on your computer. I'm just going to go to my folder of books. Desktop list, oh. open books 48 of 50. Books window, preview, items view list, 11 angle, 2021, Here's one. Title, e not Here's one. I'm going to click on this and it will directly open it up in Thorium. My heart is not, I left, my heart is not, open scan for 3D printing 21 trillion 32 billion. Link, pane. Thorium open scan for 3D printing, toolbar region, toolbar region, clickable toolbar out of region, button skip the... If it's not opening in Thorium, but another program, you can right click with the applications key, or if you don't have one, use Shift F10 on a book and arrow down to the open with submenu. Books row, books window, items view list, open scan for 3D printing. So I'll demonstrate with a PDF. 11 angle, 2021, tactile ebooks. Context menu. I'm in the applications menu. I'm going to go to open with. Property rename and delete D. Create copy C, cut D. Send to restore preview power rename copy as path. Give access open with submenu H. Go into this menu. A, B, B, Y, Y, find reader PDF 15. And arrow down to Thorium. Adobe Firefox F, Fox and reader 10.1 F. Google, Google, Microthorium, search the Microthorium T. Books window, items view list, 11 angle, 20 thorium, my books to pain. See users case desktop books, 11 angle, 2021, tactile ebooks.pdf. EDR lab.thorium reader, pick thorium tactile ebooks, a novel. This works regardless of whether you are opening the book for the first time or reopening it again to continue reading. Reading a book. When a book is open, you will see a similar layout in the sense that you can divide the page into a header and main content section. There are still several buttons near the top of the page and a main content area that now shows the contents of the book. From the top, we have the skip to content button, out of the region button skip to content, a back to bookshelf button, reading view menu navigation landmark list with five items button graphic back to the bookshelf, an information button, button graphic information, a show library bookshelf window, which opens in a new window, button graphic show library slash bookshelf window. And the activate text to speech control. List with one items button graphic activate text to speech. We'll come back to this one in a sec. Below this is a search and publication control. Out of list list with five items title button not press search and publication. A bookmark checkbox. Checkbox not check bookmark. Graphic bookmark. A settings button. Title button not press settings. A navigation control. Title button not press navigation. And the open full screen mode button. Title button not press open full screen mode. Underneath this is the main content. 
Out of the list, out of the list, main content, main landmark, main content, region, clickable, main content. Unless you intend to add a bookmark, conduct a search, or use the read aloud feature, you'll want to immediately jump to the main section and use your standard screen reader commands to begin reading. You can do this by clicking on the skip to content button or by moving to the main landmark. It is very much like reading a web page. If the book is marked up properly, you can jump by headings, links, and images with your screen reader. Here I have a book open and it is properly marked up. So I will first demonstrate jumping through headings in this book. Frame clickable chapter three, operations heading level one, difference in heading level two, scaling and resizing heading level two, mirroring heading level two. Because Nels produced this book, Nels has also included image descriptions for these figures. I will now proceed to jump through these figures. Figure eight gold sphere. A smaller gold sphere has been cut in half and stuck onto one side of the larger sphere. The black lines intersect near the cut edge of the smaller sphere. Graphic. Figure eight gold sphere has been cut in half. The cut side is slightly rounded. The black lines intersect in the middle of the shape. Graphic. Figure screenshot of the software interface. In the drawing space, there is a gold colored rectangular panel viewed from above at an angle. The black lines intersect at the lower left corner of the rectangle. Graphic. To move to the next major section of the book, press control plus page down. Main content region clickable main content main content. We can verify that it has changed sections by jumping to the main content. No next landmark. Out of reading view menu navigation main content main landmark main content out of region frame clickable link. Heading level one chapter four. Two dimensions and extrusions. And to move back the other way, we can do control page up, which will take us to the previous major section. Again, we can check this by going to the main content. Out of reading view menu main content main landmark main content out of region frame clickable link. Heading level one, chapter three, operations. If you prefer to read with a different voice than the screen reader's voice, you can use the read aloud feature. If you recall, this is the activate text to speech button, which is located near the top of the page. When you click on it, you'll hear a voice begin to read the text. In the last chapter, you made boxes and cylinders and spheres. You can use these as basic building blocks to create other things. To do that, button, button, you need a few more commands speech. at your disposal. I've just paused it. You can move to the next and previous phrase with the next and previous phrase buttons. I'm going to resume the speech and arrow down to that combo box. To do that, you need a few more commands at your disposal. First, first, you need a way to move the objects you can. First, you need a way to first. You need a way to move the objects you create around. Button graphic next text button graph button graphic sure. previous text button graphic stop text. The kin I've stopped the speech. You can also adjust the speech and change to a different voice by using the speech voice combo box. Out of list list checkbox not checkbox out of list list with one item. In the last chapter, you made text boxes text and point, cylinders point, and spheres. Microsoft David Desktop. In the last chapter, you made boxes and cylinders <laughs> and spheres. Out of button graphic information. You can use button these graphic. as basic building blocks to create other things. List with six items, to graphic, do that, text. you need button, a button few graphic, more text commands text at your button, disposal. Graphic, stop, text, stop text to speech graphic button. There are additional ways of navigating within this book. Press the navigation button or use its shortcut of control plus n and you'll find a few more options list with five items navigation toggle button pressed you can navigate using the table of contents list with six items toggle button not press table of contents by landmarks toggle button not press landmarks bookmarks toggle button unavailable not press bookmarks and by page number Toggle button unavailable not press annotations. Toggle button unavailable not press search. Go to page. Edit unavailable enter a page number. You can click on the table of contents. Go toggle 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 button unavailable toggle button not press landmarks. Toggle button not press table of contents. Press press. And you will now see a list of chapters or sections as you arrow down. We'll arrow down past all these buttons again. Table out of list toggle button press table not press out of list with six items toggle button not press. If you click on the table of contents, press. You will now see a list of chapters or sections as you arrow down. Table of contents list with fourteen items heading level one link title page heading level one link about this digital book heading level one link publishing information heading level one link dedication. 
it works the same way for landmarks and bookmarks. Press escape to hide these options. To add a bookmark, simply navigate to the bookmark checkbox and select it. Toggle checkbox check bookmark. Uncheck it to remove it. To access the list of bookmarks, press Ctrl plus N to press the navigation button, select bookmarks, and when you arrow down, you'll see a list of bookmarks with edit and delete options under each item. Let me check the bookmark again to add our only bookmark. And I'll use the shortcut Ctrl plus N. Graphic bookmark. Checkbox check graphic toggle button not press settings. Toggle button press navigation. List with six items toggle button not press table of cons toggle button not press landmarks. Toggle button not press bookmarks. And all I'm doing here is erring down to bookmarks. Now I'm going to select it. Press, press. And when I arrow down, we'll see our single bookmark. Button 53% bookmark 1. Button graphic edit. Button graphic delete. And here are our edit and delete buttons. If you click on edit, you'll land in an edit field and you can enter a new name for the bookmark. Button graphic edit. Edit land. Land. T E S T. Press enter to save the name. Thorium open scan for 3D printing document. 53% toggle button press bookmarks. Button 53% test. And here we can see that the name has updated. Settings. To finish off this multi-part tutorial, let's take a look at the settings. In Thorium, there are two places where we can access settings. The first we will call local settings. These settings allow you to adjust font type, font size, and line spacing, etc. While global settings, which is the other area that we will certainly take a look at, allows you to adjust language and keyboard shortcuts. Let's take a look at local settings first. I know to access this, we need to find the settings button, which is near the top. So I'm just going to go to the top of the page and arrow down from here. Toolbar. Out of region button, skip to content. Reading view menu, navigation, landmark, list with five items, button, graphic, back to the bookshelf. Button, graphic, information. Button, graphic, show library, list with one items, button, graphic, activate, text to see. Out of list, list with five items, toggle button, not press search and publication, box, check, book, graphic, bookmark. Toggle button, not press settings. Press, press. Here we are. When I press this, we now see six options. List with six items, toggle button, not press theme. Theme. Toggle button, not press text. Text. Toggle button, not press display. Display. Toggle button, not press spacing. Spacing. Toggle button, not press read aloud. Read aloud. Toggle button, not press configuration. And configuration. Pressing any of these will expand the button so that more settings will appear. For example, if I arrow back up to text. Toggle, toggle, toggle button, not press display. Toggle button, not press text. Expand it. Press, press. When I arrow down now, I can see the following options. Font size, A, slider 7. Font size, which can be adjusted with a slider. 14, A, font, combo box collapsed sans. The font type, which is a combo box. Toggle button, not press display. And that's it. To adjust the font type, for example, we can go to the combo box. Combo box collapsed sans. Combo box sans collapsed. Interact with it. And once we arrow up and down, we can see that the font has changed. Same with the slider. When we arrow back up to the slider, font A, 14, slider 7, slider 7. We can interact with it and use the left and right arrow keys to change the size. All right, let's now take a look at the global settings. To do this, we need to return to the bookshelf. So I'm going to jump to the top and then arrow down to the bookshelf button. Out of region button, skip to content. Reading new menu, navigation, landmark, list with five items, button, graphic, back to the bookshelf. Zoom, Florian, my books document. Link open, scan for three. The settings button is also near the top of this page. So I'm going to go to the top again. Toolbar region, clickable toolbar. And I'm going to arrow down to the settings button. Out of region button, skip to content. Bookshelf menu, navigation, landmark, list with three items, toggle button, toggle button, not press catalogs, toggle button, not press settings. Here we are. Remember that new content will be in the main content area. So to see the settings, we just need to go there. Main content region, clickable main content. The first section allows you to select a language. Out of region heading level three, language choice. 
By default, English is selected. Radio button checked English. Radio button not checked Francais. Radio button not checked Zulumi. Radio button not checked Deutsch. Radio button not checked Espanol. As you can see, we have support for a lot of different languages. Click on any one of them to change to the desired language. The next section is Save Session. Save Session Heading Level 3. By default, this is disabled. Radio button not checked enabled. Radio button check disabled. The next section is Keyboard Shortcuts. Heading Level 3 Keyboard Shortcuts. This is where you can customize all the keyboard commands that Thorium uses. Click on the Show button to see the customizations. Button Show. The final section is Login. Heading Level 3 Login. Where you can clear authentication data with the button Wipe Authentication Data. Button Wipe Authentication Data. Let's go back to the Shortcuts section and I'll show you how to change shortcuts. Login heading level 3. Keyboard shortcuts heading level 3. Button show. I'm going to click on this button. And now I'm going to arrow down. Button collapse graphic menu. List with 32 items. Button edit audio next. CTRL plus digit 3. Button edit audio play pause. CTRL plus digit 2. Button edit audio previous. CTRL plus digit 1. Button edit audio stop. CTRL plus digit 4. Button edit close reader. CTRL plus key W. Button edit focus main. CTRL plus F10. Button edit focus reader go to shift through plus key P. Button edit focus reader navigation. CTRL plus PN. Button edit focus reader set. CTRL plus PS. Button edit focus CTRL. Button edit focus tool. CTRL plus button edit navigate next chapter. Shift through plus arrow right. Button edit navigate next chapter alt. CTRL plus page down. Button edit navigate next OPDS page. Shift through plus arrow right. Button edit navigate next OPDS page alt. Shift through plus period. As you can see, there are many shortcuts for Thorium, and some commands, as you've just heard, allows you to specify two shortcuts. I'm going to change the open reader info command to control shift semicolon. To do this, click on the button, edit open reader info, and select the keys that you want to use. I know that this is further down, so I'm just going to do a quick search. Find dialog I F O. Thor info. Seat button edit open reader info. Here we are. Currently, the control for this is control plus I. I also see that there are a bunch of checkboxes for the modifier keys and a combo box to select the current key. To change this, since, as you've heard, control is already selected, I'm going to arrow back up and select shift. Checkbox, 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 check CTRL. Checkbox, not check shift. Shift, checkbox, check, check. Now, all I need to do is go to the combo box. Combo box, collapse, key I. Combo box, key I. And select semicolon from this list. S E M I. Semicolon. If I'm happy with this, I can just tab over to the save button. Shift CTRL plus semicolon edit plan. Cancel button. Save button. As you've just noticed, when I tabbed to the save button, there is an edit field. Cancel. Shift CTRL plus semicolon edit plan. I've just moved us back there, and as you've heard, it displays the shortcut that is currently used. Alternatively, you can clear the setup box PA. Land. Delete. and type in the keyboard shortcut by pressing all the necessary keys. Shift CTRL plus semicolon. So again, this is an alternative way that is perhaps a little bit faster that allows you to type in the keyboard shortcut rather than having to select certain checkboxes or even use the combo box. Cancel button. Save button. Once again, you can tap to the save button and it will remember this keyboard shortcut. Thorium is an accessible EPUB reader that is very customizable. It is constantly being improved upon, so feel free to let EDR Lab know about any suggestions or improvements that you would like to see. We hope you've found this getting started tutorial helpful. To contact us, visit nels.ca slash contact. That's n-n-e-l-s dot c-a slash contact.